Welcome to another exciting day of Chernobyl life, where we are in day seven. We've officially made it a week into the game. It seems like a, a pretty big milestone, but at the same time, I feel like there is a long ways to go. On the plus side, we are getting darn close to finishing off this board over here to where, with any luck, before long, we're going to be running that simulation and seeing what that is all about. So I'm really looking forward to that. It is so close, you can almost taste it. Let's head on out into base. I know I, I got a little bit to do out here before we head off onto today's journey. I know one thing I need to do is I need to go gather crops. So we'll gather the crops and then we'll head up and see what we have in store for us today. Now, as per the usual, I will disappear and get out of here while the NPCs are talking because whatever they're saying is always far more important than what I've got to say. At least I'm honest about it. And unfortunately, I don't have the necessary ingredients to craft anything. So, we'll head up top. I'm going to get out of here. I will see you in a few minutes. Answer the radio, mousy, mousy mouse. You know that I know you're there. You cannot hide from me, little mouse. The Rat King is almost upon us. But today, you stopped him in his tracks. I'm proud of you, mousy. You and I are going to be good friends, I think. Right, whatever. Oh, great and powerful rat catcher. Let us meet in person, Mousy. For real this time. Pripyat Port, look for a red sign painted on a wall. This symbol will protect us from the Rat King. I hope you're not wasting my time. Red sign, Pripyat Port, goodbye. Let's make it happen. Let's get cracking, Professor Fancy Pants. Khan is a curious figure, wouldn't you agree? Very Shakespearean with all his mice and rats. Fascinating people can also be very dangerous, my love. Watch your step and don't fall into a trap, mousy. Well, I am back, whether you like it or not. But to be fair, if you don't like it, don't worry, I'm not going to be around too terribly long. I don't really want to take away from the gameplay too much. But, ah, uh, we finally made it here. And we can set off on our little journey to be a good little mousy. I tell you what, that guy just seems absolutely insane. But I like it. It's kind of right up my alley. Also, every now and then, you just gotta kind of stop and just take in the scenery. I mean, this looks awesome. 
Yeah, I like it. So, pretty high up on our to-do list is going to be gathering resources. Of course, I, I constantly need the crops. Especially if I want to expand my little farm, but I really need them for making stuff to heal me, to fix my psyche, you know, deal with rads, that sort of thing. But yeah, doesn't seem like we have a whole lot of spots to hit on the map. I guess that's a good thing. So we'll head out, try to do what we can. But yeah, of course, always need various junk constantly. It's like you can never have enough. Of course, there's something right there. So again, we, we are just going to constantly have a struggle to collect as much junk as possible. While at the same time, you know, trying to stab people. Because every now and then, you just got to stab some people. So, hopefully we get to stab somebody today. I feel like that should always be on my priority list. Junk, stab somebody. Uh, if it was an option, maybe stab somebody in the junk. Or would that be overstepping? I don't know. But I bet it'd be entertaining to watch. So, either way, I definitely <laughs> can't wait to get over there and, and just see... What in the world this is all about today? Maybe we'll have some big, big choices to make. We'll see. I feel like that's going to be a repeated thing that we're going to have to deal with as the game progresses. But overall, I've been having a blast playing this. But And, and we're only a week in. I'm kind of wondering how... How long is the game? How many days in will it take to get to the end? And fingers crossed we can get that last clue that we need to be able to run the board. I want to run that simulation. But I think I'm going to go ahead and hop out of here. That way I don't distract too much from the video. I mean, I kind of already went off the rails a little bit. But hey, all in good fun. I hope you enjoy the, your day trekking through Chernobylite out in the exclusion zone. I will see you in the next video. Later.
What's that smell? Did someone take a shit out here or what? Side. Cold, wet, and full of mosquitoes all biting you in the dick.
Huh? Oh, it's probably a rat or something. I wonder what the quartermaster made for dinner tonight. Hope it's not more fish. I hate fish. Sorry, my little squeaker. They're right behind you.
Now I should have taken that job at my father-in-law's factory. Shit. Mousy! Hey! Over here! Boris was an informant for the KGB. That bastard was my friend. If I could get my hands on him. Mousy! Hey! Over here! Enough jerking me around. What do you know about Tachana? The woman in the red dress. Yes, of course! You have proven yourself worthy, and I need many allies in the upcoming war against the Rat King. The apocalypse is coming soon, yes! Who is this Rat King? A smart question. One that I've been trying to answer myself for years. The Rat King will usher in the end of days. He and his army of rodents. They are a plague of biblical proportions. The end of all. Oh, I don't have time for this. Please get to the point, if there is one. You will make time once you see the truth. But never mind that for now. You have questions? Ask. I'm looking for my fiance. Her name is Tatiana Amelieva. The last time I saw her was here in Pripyat, just before the Chernobyl incident. A long time, isn't it? What are you hoping to find exactly? I'm not sure, but. But she constantly haunts your dreams. Oh, I suspected as much. See here, I have gathered many documents, reams of them. Look through them, educate yourself. Quiet, Mousy. They're here. Oh, shit! Rat King got the better of us this time. Ah, they mustn't get their filthy paws on my archives. 
Oh, you never expected the second test to come so fast, eh? Let's hurry, Mousy. How's the shooting practice going, Igor? Quite well, actually, thanks to your pointers. You're a great marksman, Olivier. Did you learn all that when you were with the Canadian Special Forces? JTF-2? No, of course not. You have to be a hotshot already when you apply. I learned to shoot even before I joined the regular military. My father often took me hunting in the woods. So your father taught you how to shoot? Well, the old man taught me many things. How to be a total asshole, for example. I remember the time I told him I'd been passed up for promotion. The worst part was, he wasn't even angry. He said it was exactly what he'd expected to happen. We were out looking for a duck blind, and he marched right in front of the barrel of my shotgun. He was an experienced hunter who not to do that. He paused right there in front of me, looked at the gun, then at me, and he smiled maliciously. That old bastard wanted to provoke me. God help me. I almost pulled the trigger. But you didn't. You're your own man, Olivier. You can't let your father's opinions define you. You're probably right. But it's still hard. Even after all these years. You have a second, Igor? Sure. What can I do for you? I was just thinking about my friends. Zina, Yuri, Ludmila, and Igor, your namesake. They were the best fucking guys and gals I've ever known. When I first arrived, I was lost. Just stumbling around in the dark like an idiot. They took me in and we became inseparable. The greatest team of stalkers the world has ever seen. Will ever see. They called us the Pripyat Five. It was a stupid-ass joke, of course, but I still liked it. Zeno was the smart one. Whatever the problem, she always had a solution in her back pocket. She could get us out of every kind of goddamn mess. Yuri was the strongest guy ever. He was our shield. It was like he was carved from wood. Igor was the leader. 
But really, he was like the older brother I never had. And then there was Ludmila, the party girl. We did so many drugs together, I had a bit of a crush on her, and I think it was mutual. Shit. I'm really sorry, Mikhail. Everything reminds me of them. This place. We built it together. Carried all this shit on our backs, like fucking ants. I never worked so hard in my life. It was supposed to be our post-apocalyptic hive. The Pripyat fucking five in the hive. My homies. My home. I'm really sorry, Mikhail. I hope you can at least find some closure here. The fuck you want? Want to trade? Just make it fucking quick, will ya? What's going on, Igor? Can we swap some stuff, Olivier? Sure, whatever you need. Thank you. 